good situation. All right, we're kind of guessing on this one. Oh, well, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry, right, you can see what a run looks like from the start. It is kind of a rogue-like uh, minesweeper. It's kind of interesting because it very rapidly ramps up in difficulty. And also, I'm not the best at mine minesweeper. Yes, uh, you know, do not believe your eyes. This is, in fact, uh, Civ 6. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I think we got Matt joining the Discord. Hey, bud. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. Sorry, we're late. Ah, you know what happens. I was kind of late actually getting things all set up too, so, you know, there's that. Hmm. Uh, it took us a minute to set up. Uh, Mr. Dumb, say hello to Matt if you like. Uh, you guys are hey, buddy. both in the chat at one point. You're both very cool, very fun people, so hopefully you'll get along to some extent. Um, what? Oh, hi, Matt. I'm not cool. Ah, oh, it's just not true. Oh, hey, Bree, how's it going? Oh, not too bad, you know. <laughs> Been a Long time no see. Yeah, see the fun, fun uh, joke there is they were just playing some Stardew. So I hear Mike is going to be joining us here. Yeah, he should be about five minutes. That's not too bad then. I'm playing a little uh, roguelite minesweeper. <laughs> In the intervening time. Uh -huh. How Sounds does that like, work? <laughs> I mean, you can check out the stream if you want to look. Um, it's minesweeper with extra elements and items and stuff. Treasure. More treasure. Let's see here. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, um, one of the Project Winter people we play with, uh, Carrie, introduced me to this. Well, I did see uh, Northern Lion play it as well, but uh, seeing Carrie had like 400 hours in this game, I was like, dang, it must be pretty darn good. So that's, uh, <laughs> that really got me going, I need to give this a try. It's actually like. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Um, I'm having a good time with it. Ah, I'm gonna have to guess at one of these. Uh, okay. That works, I suppose. All right. Oh, wait a second. I left a heart on the floor, no! <laughs> Is that streamer blindness? You know, I always wonder, like we got three viewers in the stream at the moment, and I'm always like, man, is, like, am I just crazy? Like, are these people real viewers? Are they like bots? I never know. I never know. 
I wasn't aware that Twitch had an issue with bots. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had one the other day. That was uh, trying to sell, what was it, like viewers or followers viewers, or something? Yeah. It's like, I mean, you know. Oh, it was follows. It was big follows. Big follows? Yeah, so I had to ban that out of my chat. But, uh, yeah, it's really weird. They'll use all kinds of weird symbols to presumably avoid detection. Because uh, I'm sure Twitch, like, scans the, the chat and everything. At least briefly. Hmm. That's a good tile. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough game. Sometimes. Yeah, honestly, dude, all the numbers just blow into one when I try and look at that shit. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing it a little bit more. And getting a little better at it. Orco Avatar? I actually haven't changed off like the beginning avatar. Actually, I've never moused over that, so I don't really know what that is. But. Yeah. I think my biggest issue in this game is like I end up going too fast and just kind of click something wrong that I could have figured out. Uh. Chance to find lives. That was crazy. I don't actually like any of those items. So forget that. I'm going to save my money. I'll save it so I can die on this level and never spend it. That's, you know, that's how you do it. That's what the pros do. Let's see. That's definitely one. It's definitely not one. There are like weird logic things that you start seeing in these after a while. Like you see the same kind of setups multiple times and your brain starts to see like, oh yeah, it's this. Like you're hitting an awful lot of mines, my friend. Hmm? So you're hitting an awful lot of mines, my friend. I mean they're all mines, they should be. Hmm, that's kind of the point where... Okay, so that's helpful. Okay, maybe it's not that helpful. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there we go. Starting to get it going. I, uh... Oh! <laughs> That's that kind of thing. Right. I should have known that this was the two there and that that was good. Ah! Same thing. Same exact thing <laughs> just happened. Lose. Don't do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, like, look at these and I don't see them as mines anymore. That's the problem. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Couldn't have cut that any closer. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, almost as good as the time I went with uh, Explain Project Winner. What the heck's that thing? Sure, why not? Oh, well, that's not what you want to see. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see. How are we doing with Mike? Sorry, everything resized for a second here. Alright, we're 
gonna try this again. It's crazy to me because the first level is so easy. And because I've said that, I'm gonna get killed by it, I'm sure. Um, that's how the world works, I believe. That is true. But, uh, yeah, it's like uh, the first level is very easy, and then it's like, oh god. Oh, well, you know. Uh, I need I need something here because got to give me something. Oh please, don't make me guess on every single one. It's just it's all ones. It's all ones. All right. Like this solution is staring me in the face. Just don't know what it is. All right, there we go. We've found a seam here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Why did you click that one? Uh, which one? <laughs> Oh, the one that was just above middle on the left side. They said there was two mo two mines touching it, and there was only one other box that could have been. And you clicked right on it. Did I get hurt or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, you know, I, I honestly can't <laughs> tell you. That's so expensive for mana. Like, what do, you, do you think I'm made out of money? All right, I've got more money. I'm still not giving it to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, um, hmm. So you hate to see this, because... There's a one left, huh? Alright, there you go. Not too bad. I think they made that one like impossible to lose. Impossible to lose, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> it's really like as many mines as you had lives. Hello, Sorry Mike. About that. It's okay. <laughs> People have been willing to put up with the uh, Minesweeper advanced version. <laughs> We are going to go ahead and uh, exit this one, though. <laughs> but if you guys want to see more Minesweeper in the future, <laughs> uh, just let me know, I suppose. Uh, tweet me at Yates Prime. And, uh, Project Winner, clearly. <laughs> yeah, if you, look, if you want to see Project Winner, just give us a follow. And we will absolutely be playing Project Winner again in the future. Like, I promise you that. you have? Eleven. Anyway. Oh, that's too low. Sorry, I'm messing around with the sound of sieve. I have 129. All right, let's get you in here, Mike. Mm -hmm. By the way, Mike, this is Mr. Num. Mr. Num, Mike, uh, you're both awesome people. I, you know, hope we'll have a great game of sieve uh, together. The nicest thing that anyone said about me. That's not true, Mike. I've said much nicer things about you. Probably the biggest lie you ever said about me. <laughs> and you're both modest. Um, I'm honest. Honest, not modest. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to set it to a large game. No, no, no. I don't want to quit my own game. Uh, Mike, run Rise and Fall. Because Mr. Sure. Num does not have the whatever it is, uh, flooding and etc. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he's also fairly new to the game. So we were walking through an understatement. how to uh, build archers to stop barbarians from murdering everything you want. <laughs> yeah, less than zero. <laughs> Mike is uh, 
probably the biggest archer evangelist you'll ever meet. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm dying to barbarians. Do you have archers? <laughs> I mean, you only say that because you never build archers. I build archers. Yeah, sometimes. now because you're sick of our harassment. You know, the problem with barbarians is if they manage to get a foothold, then you're screwed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you build archers in our last game, Mike? Uh. Yeah, was really by barbarians. Oh yeah, I had three. There were the, was there <coughs> two camps there. Gosh. Just too many. Heard me. Look off. Connected and disconnected. Connected and disconnected. Vulnerable. What? Ah, well, I'm do us connected now. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Automatic uh, download of the off stuff. Is it? Oh, you have to re-enable. There's an option setting somewhere that allows me to download mods when I try and join a lobby, which I apparently need to enable. Yes. In uh, game settings, halfway down. Uh, cool. Uh, we're just playing with the usual UI mods. Or... I think so. Yeah. Uh, alternate policy, better tech tree, uh, user interface, diplomacy ribbon, pantheons, better report screen, immersive dialogue. Yeah, just for regular, regular stuff. <coughs> Are we doing random attack ends? Uh, yeah, if you want to. I was just curious if you had turned it on or not. Oh, yes, yeah. Random random tech and civs tree. Uh, so, Mr. Numb, all that does is it makes it so you don't really know what you're going for. Oh, cool. I like I already did it, huh? <laughs> yeah, won't make it any harder for you. So whenever you guys would like to ready up, uh, oh, you guys, sorry, Mike and uh, Matt probably want to be on our team as well, right? What? Oh, sh oh, oh, no. <laughs> 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 no, I've and not just wild card. We'll, we'll put the computers on a team too, just to, just to make it fair. <laughs> you guys will be the biggest city states. Ah, uh, yeah, that 5v1v1v1. <laughs> Uh, so if you guys want to ready up, we will we'll start. Yeah. I forgot I unreadied you when you change other stuff. Mm-hmm. Pre. What? You need uh -huh. a ready? There we go. Yeah, I was slightly worried because I said, um, oh, you know what? I should probably change the capture to Civ 6. Good lord, you guys aren't even able to see our lobby screen. <laughs> Alright, I promised it actually is 6-6 six, six now and not Minesweeper. Game. Yeah, I'm afraid so. That's John. <laughs> Are you disappointed that you're not, you didn't watch Minesweeper? No, what happened? The mods? Oh, yeah, God. hold on. These mods might not work with um, only Rise and Fall. Ah, uh, crap. Crap. That's a okay. base game. He'll make a nice change of pace. You want yeah. any of those helpers. Alright, Mike, why don't you set up a game for us? Sure thing. Thank you. Okay, viewers, you're going to have to wait just like a touch longer as Mike sets up this game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a tiny bit more of Minesweeper. So just oh, Rise and Fall. Kidding. Yeah, uh, Rise and Fall. Oh, right, I want all the... Have you, hold on, how does the official DLC work? If, um, I, the Civ expansions? Um, they just add new Civs. I don't think it changes any of the gameplay or anything. Alright, so I'll have everything officially... Um, all the official DLC enabled except for... Yeah, yeah I think that's a good idea. Uh -uh. 
They have a lot of DLC for this game. <laughs> Having to slowly disable it one by one. Yeah. Yeah, we're um, we're actually gonna go shopping later tonight <laughs> for the first time in like a couple weeks. That'll be interesting. Uh, what map type will be like? Um, I just had it on Fractal before, but do people have a preference? No, yeah, Fractal works. Okay. Right, da, 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 private, ancient start, Fractal, everything else is standard. Uh, do we want a larger map size since we're going to have 10 people? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. We'll never see it all anyway. <laughs> Large map. I am joining. Redeem myself as Cleopatra from the last game. <laughs> How is this unsupported? There's only ten people. Uh, it. I don't think it actually matters. Alright. Yeah. Is anything over eight? It says that for some reason. All right, Matt. Are you ready to be Scotland? Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I have so many regrets if I end up. <laughs> I just wanted to speak it into existence. Actually, I don't think it, Scotland aren't on my short list. I tend to get um, huh. yep, Georgia. I tend to get Georgia or Syria or what's that other um, Did you go Georgia? Yeah, I got Georgia. Oh. It's fine, I'll just go Faith. And <laughs> you can declare a protector at war. I'm actually the same Civ that I was just uh, just watching Mr. Num play. That's kind of funny. <clears throat> Seven viewers. Welcome, viewers. I think one of them is me. <laughs> yeah, we're... For anybody just joining, we're starting up a uh, noob-friendly game of Civ 6 with the five human players against the five computer players. We'll see if humans really are smarter than computers. Hey, you don't have to research on all those for horses. That's cool. Uh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I've already found a city-state. Hmm. Japan? Likes Japan? Oh, we've um, won. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'll, well, I'll let you believe in me, but <laughs> I am in. Yeah, you'll let us believe in you as if you have a choice. to research horses. It's strange. It's it's in Rise and Fall. The, um, I don't know. I, I'm uh, not sure what the logic behind that change was. I think it was to stop the early horseman rush. I think the idea was to slow down. 
you know, sauerkraut is at the start of the game. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure it necessarily works, to be honest. Yeah, because um, horses are also very one of the best tiles. Because mm -hmm. they give a lot of food and production. That is also true. I mean, at least you have to, like, get it. You can't just go mining to browns working. Pretty close together. And there's Mr. Numb way over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make a scout right off the bat. Let's see if we can find some more things in the world on the map. Tribal villages that aren't scooped up by my allies. Maybe I'm just bad, right? You see, I hear that noise, and I know it's not for me, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> the travel village, because uh, we're all, you know, we're all in the same. When the travel village is mm -hmm. revealed for one of us, it's revealed for all of us. So we all get the bleep. Yep. And that was Mike finding tribal villages. Oh, the barbarians have found me. Here we go. Have you got a slinger? <laughs> Our mic's got one. Somehow. <laughs> Slinger's going to be my third, though. Uh, it'll be my second now. I've just built a scout. Oof. Yeah, now that Mike's chest Yeah, hey, I don't know, Mike. That's, uh... <laughs> That's not a fantastic first city location. <laughs> it's got, um, horses. Oh. I mean, the thing about the Japanese, like, as soon as he gets a couple of, uh, districts down, like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what his tiles are, because he's Japan and he's got a couple of districts down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can just place, um, most hundred tiles. I suppose that is true. You know, we're actually going to go for an early, uh, what you call it, granary. I think I hate every single sieve. I haven't even seen them all yet. I just see Scythia. Okay, well, uh, Matt, have fun fighting Russia with your faith. <laughs> and, uh, Mike, have fun fighting Rome and Greece. Oh, boy. <laughs> what difficulty is this game on again? Prince. Uh, I think we decided to. Yeah. And thank uh, Christ it's on Prince, because uh, things could be a little dicey otherwise. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see them now. I'm definitely not going to actually interact with them, because why would I? They're going to declare war on us in a minute, probably. <laughs> oh, hey, look who's right next to Greece, though. That's or Scythia. That's exciting and fun for everyone. <laughs> Do you want to give a holy siren? Just, just oh, it does change where I'm gonna probably put my first city. Whoops. Get out of here. Mike, did you say holy site? Look. There's reasons to go faith, especially as Japan when, you know, because I build it in half the time. God, I need to remember what Japan's thing is. Uh, build, basically, uh, double adjacency bonuses to place in district together, so you know, build them in a block, it's just good for everything. Half build time for holy sites, um, theater districts, and encampments. And just some generally good um, combat bonuses, especially when fighting on shore. Oh. <clears throat> oh, no. Ah, Mike's found know. another tribal village. <laughs> it's 
Somehow I managed not to find any of these city-states first. How? I spawned right next to one. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Uh, that's a heck of a mountain range. Hmm. Oh. That's a crappy barbarian camp. Hmm. <laughs> I see Matt has already found one as well. But it looks like something's been attacking it, so... We probably have someone in between... Somewhere between Matt and Bree. Uh, yeah, probably on the east somewhere. Weird. Ah, numb. Um, instead of build, you building slingers, you should just build uh, war carts. They're the strongest of the game unit. You'll just roll over everything. Oh yeah, your Samaria. Yeah, Samaria's big thing is that they have exceptional um, early game. And they get war carts, which is the one unique unit that you can build right from the start of the game. Mm -hmm. delegation honestly do I want a pantheon I feel like I do hey, can we not like squeeze Matt out of faith because it's like the only thing you can do I mean I can get a pantheon without going faith but I'm also India uh, India benefits from multiple faiths, right? G going, going mm -hmm. faith and going religion are different things. Okay. Yeah. Like you can spend because you, yeah, you both want to generate faith, but one will spend it on like building civilian units with the related perks, and the others will focus on spreading them. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna spread Matt's faith. But getting Pantheon can also give me like a ton of other benefits. No. Uh, <clears throat> grab some archery. Man, I have no mountains near me, so do not expect my science output to be great. Mm. It's okay, that's what we have Japan for. <laughs> no, Japan isn't that good at science apart from... Apart from the, the naturally high bonuses, yeah. Apart from Japan just being good at everything. Yeah. Mm. Hey Matt, did you know that Greg's is on Just Eat? What is Greg's? It might be in the north, I, I don't know if we have that down here yet. It's yeah, I don't think uh, we have it here either. Most popular pastry. Okay, it's a national <laughs> Yeah, unsurprisingly they don't deliver Greg's to me. That's that's top break. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey Jesus, there's really Sean, where would you build <laughs> in the next city? Because, uh, hmm. If you were me. Uh. Because there's. There's no, um. There's not even any coastal water near. I guess. Okay, so there are two spots to me that stick out. I kind of want to see more about that spot, you know? Because yeah. you could end up with like a good harbor down there. The other spot I'm looking at is right here. Oops, that was to myself. Hold on. 
And I'm thinking there because you have fresh water, and you've got oh, a right. lot of resources, and you could do a Petra City there, and it'd be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that's what jumps out at me immediately. Hmm. You got Yosemite right there. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put my first settlement over here to protect from uh, Scythia. It's a very defensive build. But with that there, I'll be nestled between a bunch of Basically, I have Matt to my south, and then a bunch of city-states around me, and mountain ranges. So other than that, it'll be very difficult to actually get to me. These guys close this off perfectly. They do. They build their encampment. Is that right? No, that's also blocked. that. Oh, that's also mountain range. That's actually great news. Oh, I might genuinely be surrounded by mountain ranges. Yeah, that's good. Instantly. I agree. I think it's very good. Hmm. Alright, so I actually don't have to settle that way just yet. Settle right over here. I feel like that tile, Plains Hill. It's also Plains Hill. Yeah, let's set over here. I think we're just gonna pump out settlers for now. I feel like I have to rush that. My unique units. Maybe currency. Uh, sure, I fine. think. Um, hmm. What's up? Your markers ended up being the best locations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't have a lot of choices over there, so. Hmm. 
nice to see those turtles. In that case, I could definitely see you settling uh, instead of on that one. Uh, right there. And then putting Thank in campus. You. What? Sorry, sorry. No, I'm interrupting. <laughs> I'm just saying thank you where I've unlocked the recap for what archery. Mm. Like, I don't know if you uh, know, but if someone unlocks a Eureka on a team, everybody gets it. Mm. Mm. So, Mike, let me ask you the same question. Uh, look at where my settler is. What do you think the best spot for that guy is? I got a couple options, but. Uh, um, let's see. Playing. I would hmm. honestly um, either one tile to the east or one tile to the southwest both of those seem like exceptional spots uh, east or southeast time. east or southwest um, uh, I can't settle on the southwest. It's uh, within uh, Patna. Oh, right. I miscounted. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, one east. You don't think I should go for the Plains Hill? Hmm. You generally have a lot of production, and you could turn that into a mine. Um, actually, yeah, there's an argument for that. I guess I'd go for the long term. Because um, that city's going to explode. There's enough food there. Hmm. Alright. Oh, you know what? I do actually like the Plains Hill better because I'll have a couple Yosemite tiles. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. I forgot about that. So, Mr. Dumb, how are you doing over there? Not doing good. Hmm. Do you remember to uh, build some settlers at some point? You want to expand your empire. Uh huh, that's what I'm actually making right now. Perfect. Uh, the barbarians are about this. <laughs> Darn one of us for uh, researching archers. I won't, won't mention. Who, who it was exactly that got them first. Um, hmm. Wow, there genuinely is a massive mountain range all around my civilization, but not really close enough for me to capitalize on. So I don't think I'm really going to have any worries about being attacked. But I also won't be able to help you at all with anything. Kind of strange. You know what? Maybe I should get early Varu because I can just take all these city states. Yeah, that's a good idea. Although, do I want any of them? None of them are next to fresh water. Venice's. Forgot to build a granary. That's kind of an issue. Alright, that works. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing today? Doing good. Um, Brie, I downloaded Enderon. Oh, oh have nice. you started it? No. 
Because I mean, I, I literally just finished the entirety of Skyrim. So I'll give it a little bit, but I will play into it. Sure. Well, what I was saying, the class systems already seems a hell of a lot more interesting. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, uh, the the combat, combat is exactly the same for the most part as Skyrim is. So, like, if you didn't like the combat for Skyrim, uh, you're probably not going to like the combat for Underall. But the, the story and, like, the mechanics of uh, the classes and the skill trees and such are just so much better. I've got Bri at the er Bri at the yin yang. I've got wheat at the yin yang as well. And it all over. It's amazing. Uh, I just have rice. Just two. <laughs> How the heck am I getting my pantheon here? Another couple turns. There's a Matt, there's a pantheon that uh, does something with farmable resources, right? Is it faith over uh, farms? don't think there is in the base game. Um, mm. Let's see. I couldn't see it. Oh, that might be one of the things that was screwing up the game before playing on whatever. How's everybody doing on amenities? Uh, I need to start. Uh, low priority. Like case in point, look at my look at my capital right now. If I hadn't gone so hard and like I had free slingers. Oh. Uh, that's barbarian archers. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. I made a silly decision and I forgot how much they can do. Damage archers can do. War cart's pretty far from home. Looks like Num's coming to the rescue for you, Mike. Appreciate it. Try. <laughs> yeah, you appear to have a barbarian camp near you as well. How much does War Carts do? 30. Oh, that's pretty good, really. Regular Warriors, 20. Jeez, that's a serious improvement. Mm hmm. Oh, come on, barbarian. You really gonna do this to me? Where Jeez. are you putting that? Oh, are you putting it where the barbarian warrior is? Yes. <laughs> that was the plan. Well. I'll come beat you in a second. 
Yeah, I just fortified my scout, so if he attacks, which he probably will, he'll end up dying eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just kind of going in every direction. Would have been a uh, good game to be Lady Six guy. <laughs> Have myself a nice little circular civilization. Oh good, Heracles is happy that I've been un unable to actually get the city state to like me. <laughs> he pretty much told me the same thing. Finally got my Pantheon, so that's nice. Congratulations on being bad at the game. <laughs> I said thank you. I'm sure that's exactly what he said. <laughs> hmm. Oh jeez, yeah, that barbarian camp to um, <clears throat> the southeast of that wall cut. Well, what about it? If you could deal with that, I'll be very. Oh bad. yeah, I plan. Yeah, Mike has other priorities, <laughs> like the other barbarian camp. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything for farms. Unless someone's taken it, so... Oh, well. It is... What it is. Floodplains. Are there even floodplains in this mode? <laughs> yep. That seems... I have some here. Ah. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess... Give me fertility rates, then. Yeah. I don't want better growth. Uh... What am I doing here? Oh no, that warrior is just sitting there. It's not even attacking. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, that's a barbarian horseman. Mm. Oh, actually, but it's pretty bad, so that's fine. Let's make an archer. Probably gonna want builders here soon. Oh, wait a second. I don't need to do the rest of that. Start on craftsmanship. So is the work cart cavalry? I'm not sure, in all honesty. Hmm. Yeah, it's heavy cavalry, apparently. Ooh, it's probably going to do poorly against the spearmen then. 
I would uh, fortify your war cart till it heals. Yeah, I can take care of this barbarian camp uh, nearer your base. Oh god, I lied. I lied. None of that was true. <laughs> there are two horsemen now. Oh, damn. Okay, well. <laughs> maybe maybe you can sneak in there and uh, make that happen. I don't know. By the way, Mr. Num, do be careful with your settler, because that uh, scout could try and take I it. Know. Yeah. Oh, nice, you got that camp, that's good. Those horsemen will just suicide on our units now. <laughs> it's there to end you. It's coming. If you're one tile in from the coastland. Ah, eh, Peter's warning me. I don't really, I don't really care about you, Peter. I'm sorry. No one gives a flip. It's been a while since we played Civ. This is nice. It has nice. been a while and I've forgotten how to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe I am the same. Oh, Bree, that's the cutest picture of our cat. Is that the heated Where? blanket? Where? You sent a picture to me earlier today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is the heated blanket. Of course it is. That's so funny. <laughs> Curled up under Bree's desk on the heated blanket. I mean, if he has the option, why would he sleep anywhere else? <laughs> I just think it's funny you put this uh, the heated blanket down for him. Oh, we didn't, oh, we didn't put it there for him. He's just, He's just magnetized to it. <laughs> Understandably. <sighs> That's funny. I have been warned repeatedly. Did I not get up to six population? Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. It was already boosted. See, I'm just a fool and I can't read. Reading's hard, guys. Hmm. <coughs> what am I making? See, I don't even want to build a campus. I can't even get a plus one campus. It's like such a waste of time. Yeesh, yeah. Uh, I can settle wherever I want, bud. You're going to warn me too. I ignore science and art. Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> I don't really have options for science and art. Oh, hold on. I need to change my government. Get this out of here. Oh. Yeah, give me construction towards builders. Why not? I'm building a builder.
Fish off that cavern. What? Cavalry. It's right next to you. I don't see I don't see any cavalry. There was cavalry right next to you. Did it took off? Well, hopefully it took off in a direction towards uh Scythia. Uh Mike, there's a new outpost near you. Enjoy that. Uh, uh Mike. Do you have archers? I have three. <laughs> Mike, have you got archers though? Chill out. Ooh, I think I found your builder. <laughs> um. Oh, you got another fucking. I didn't see that barbarian camp up right south of you. I think it just popped up. looking to be more of a threat than the actual uh, <laughs> players. Is the playing on a larger map so there's more fog of war? Very nah, that, that would be it. Mm. I actually uh, played a game on Six Arms Snowflake once, six people, and barbarian camps were the worst because they could only spawn on the fog of war, and there was very little fog of war on the map. So they would just keep spawning right next to your city in the one square you couldn't see. Kind of thing. It was very frustrating. Wow, I did not realize Pingala was different in Rise and Fall. Hmm. Oh, Wait, shit. What? Yeah, instead of the um, population culture per um, pop, it's now just a bonus to fit to districts or campus buildings. It's not right. nearly as good. Huh. Oh wow, Magnus seems better. story of my life, right? I always need more amenities. Mm. It's weird. Like, we're playing on a large map, but this map doesn't feel very large right now. But I feel like there's just a massive section we're just not seeing. Like, if you look at the far um, east, western corner of the map, just on the mountain range, Greece is just beyond that. Yeah. So they've got the entire wow. bit of content to themselves from. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a really nice mountain range for them as well. That's like defensive mm -hmm. shit right there. I think we're actually in a pretty good position to eliminate like two of them though. Mm. Like we've got Scythia in between like three of us. And then we've got uh, the Mapuche uh, near me and Bree and Matt. So we could easily squeeze them. I know, I'm, I'm mad that they are right there because I wanted to settle a city on the coast, but by like turn 10 it was neg 20 loyalty. Well, you see, soon, soon, Bree, they could not be there. <laughs> that is a good point. Jesus. How, why? Why is that warrior coming to me? Uh, to punish you for your misdeeds. Self of okay. <laughs> That barbarian, instead of going to the nice, you know, capital stuff. That's really good terrain, holy shit. What? Boric is, um... Talking about me. <laughs> yeah, you've got, like, a really nice starting city, honestly. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, you got a five tile, a five food tile, and it's not even improved. Yeah, in, your, in your ring, yeah. It's crazy. Which reminds me, I still have to, to build us. 
There we go. I just uh, captured a builder. I believe it was... Uh, <laughs> I think it was Mr. Numb's builder previously. No. No? I don't, oh, I don't work it. Maybe he came from Scythia then. Must have. Uh, let's see. None of these are... Bree, do you get stuff if I trade with you? gonna do that then. I'm in hell. I got three gold, so that's pretty good. Dedication. Normal dedication for my normal age. Uh, oh, let me see here. Is this one of those games where I could build a fancy formation? Aqueduct, dam, industrial district, with a, uh, dam. The dam has to be on two sides of the river, right? Uh, I always forget how that works. Uh, whoops. Well, didn't mean to buy that, but... That's fine. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get so fancy with it. That's uh. That's that's for better players than me. <laughs> oh, I don't even have mining yet. Uh. Yeah. Good provision. Yeah, I've got negative amenities right now. It's kind of an issue. Checking out the city states. What do they give me? Mm. I don't remember ever seeing Carthage. Hmm. I don't really care much for any of the abilities of any of these city states, honestly. <clears throat> wow, that's nice. Bill has got three charges left on him. that very cool guy with his very loud car mm -hmm. speeding down our residential street. I'm not sure I'll ever understand that. So while we're waiting on Matt, how are you doing today, chat? Stay a good day, enjoying your Sunday afternoon, wherever you're coming from. I know many people aren't super talkative, but uh, allegedly I got three whole viewers. I don't really know if you guys are just here for passive sound or what, you know? Maybe you just like hanging out. But, uh,. I'm here if you want to chat. 
Is there any games you guys want to see played? You know, let me know. I enjoy many games. I'll tell you one thing I was thinking of playing on stream was, uh, aside from Project Winner, which, you know, everyone knows I stream that. <coughs> uh, Hollow Knight. I freaking love that game, man. It's such a good yeah, it's game. it's a very good game. And I would play it again, for sure. Which I can't say about too many single-player games. <coughs> so, Mike, you said you were thinking about starting up Enderall, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. So you never played Enderall? Uh, no. Like, I just... I basically... Uh, literally just finished um, Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Like, having not really played it that much. I see. So I, I played like 120 hours over the course of two weeks. And finished it. So, it's good, but I, I kind of want more. Mm -hmm. But good. And it sounds like Enderol, isn't it? Yeah. I think it is, yeah. Oh, I should really be building more step wells, huh? They're very good. Build them everywhere you can. <clears throat> Damn, I've just been building a bunch of farms. <laughs> oh, build the step wells around them. Hmm. Where am I settling next? I do like this area up here. But I also like that gypsum. Yeah, I think you just settle the gypsum. Take the take the win, right? No, I'm not giving you any of my gold. Buzz off. That Sean asking for your stuff again. No. <laughs> Russia. Damn you, Russia. What do you think you're dead? Hell. Uh, he wants to open borders for gold? Sure. Sure, absolutely. I don't even know where you are. But yeah. Uh, you want open borders for free. How about you, like, give me something for it? Uh, no. I think I'll refuse giving you open borders for free. Doesn't seem like a good deal for me. He won't give me a single gold for it. He's like, would you like to give me this gift? No. No, I don't think I would. <laughs> yeah, the thing with the team game here is we win and lose together. We, uh, war and peace together as well. So... <clears throat> giving them any kind of gift is kind of dumb for us at the moment. Uh, Alright. You also want open borders for nothing. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to give you open borders for nothing. Dude, what is wrong with the AI right now? <laughs> Yeah, they keep asking me open borders for nothing. It's like open borders for open borders. Yeah. I don't particularly want open borders with them either. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go right for industrial zone. To really just make my production ridiculous. Start pumping in elephants. That's kind of interesting. The only people pumping out settlers are me and Mike right now. Looks like. Yeah, behind the curve, I think. <laughs> I 
So is a step well just straight up a better farm? Is that how that works? Uh, it is, but the uh, the trick is that you can't play step wells next to each other. Mm. So you want to kind of like alternate farms and step wells to make a massively uh, uh, good I see. Okay. I am being warned. What do you mean, barbarians close to my home? What you're talking they about? Your home. <laughs> they're, they're saying, you know, how? Why are you letting these barbarians run amok in your home? It's like, what do you? What? I don't have any barbarians. They don't even talk to me about barbarians. Settlers, more production, and diplomatic league. All right. I think we're all set on a variety of items. What do you mean? I got to move. All right. Sithy's got a lot of units there. Uh, farms. I'm gonna do mine. Yeah. I have been warned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't have the same government as her, so now she's displeased. But last turn, she told me she was happy because we had the same government. It's like, make up your mind. What do you want? Did you, by any chance, change governments? I did. I did change governments. Yeah. You got me. The thought police are coming. Let's do it. You know, at a certain point, you just start clicking things. So everyone who's watching knows this is not how you play Civ. Well, this is a way to play Civ. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> this is the result of 200 hours and Civ 6 uh, subpar plays. If you want good plays, you need at least 10,000 hours. You know, which is kind of like working a full time job for five years. <clears throat> That's kind of weird to think about. Wait, how have you got so much gold? Me? Well, not you, Sean, you got 90. I probably just haven't spent it. I spent my own on granaries like a fool. Oh my god, I've discovered a tribal village. Look at that. I got to hear the noise, and it was on my screen. That's better than I ever could have dreamed. You know what? I think I'm going for... Uh, some culture this game. Uh, Miss Num, could you do me a favor and move that, um, that warrior on that sheep next to my capital? Move what? Uh, that warrior next to your top. It's on a sheep tile he wants to do something with. You're on top of his sheep. Yeah, my wife kind of just built a pasture around for some reason. <laughs> Uh, 
I would uh, like point you to it, but there should be a ping option in this game that isn't just like making ping. Mm -hmm. You do only have one warrior unit for what it's worth. I'll just have one science. That's weird. So, Matt, how, how is your Georgia situation going? It's, it's like playing with blank slate, honestly. Like, I, I have no buffs to anything. <laughs> it's just not. Oh, God. It's going <laughs> fine. Yeah. It's great. Everything's good. Thanks for asking. fortify that scout against this warrior. I don't know why I have Healthman Scythia with these uh, barbarians. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel too, Mike. Plus two science for a campus. Say it ain't so. What a world to live in. Oh boy. What are we doing? What are we doing? It says purple. It is suspicious. Moving away from your computer in this time of need. Uh, by the way, I am also just building like a ton of uh, commercial hubs. So I know I said I was going for industrial zones, but uh, turns out that's not exactly true. Mm. I'm doing industrial zones soon. Um, is anyone else trying to go for Nam Medal? Nope. Uh, districts on or next to coastal lake tiles provide sure. It's an oh, incredibly powerful coast. Yeah, no, I don't care. Oh, you know what? I think this whole thing that I was planning with like industrial districts next to aqueducts and dams. It's not going to work, because I don't think that's in this version of the game. I think that was part of the, the next DLC. Oh, yeah, Dam's wrong in that one. Yikes. Sorry, Sean. Yeah, well, whatever. I actually didn't invest too much into it, so... I could have spent uh, ages planning it, marking all kinds of things on my map, but I did not do that, so... It all works out. I'll just keep building commercial districts. And, so, uh, yeah, if anyone yeah. is planning on making Jerusalem their bitch, uh, I'd like to request that myself. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Candy is also pretty solid. 
Yeah, that's your kind of thing. It is quite as impressive. Mm. You say impressive or oppressive? I could, uh, yeah, they work out the same in this uh, institute. Let's see. Hmm. Well, my uh, production's out of control, but uh, I don't have much production, or sorry, much food to speak of exactly. It's not, not I mean, the Del best. Delhi does Uh, it's less deli I'm worried about and more uh, Hyderabad. <laughs> God, <laughs> that would be one way to probably get some viewers, do some actual Among Us, and show them just how bad I am. I'm really bad at it. Alternately, a different way of viewing it, you're just very good at it, and you need to stop being so good at it. And stop being such a good liar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a good liar in Project Winner. I can do it in Project Winner. Mr. Numb will tell you. You just wait until you play a cypher bunker with me. <laughs> Changes the number while you're in it, gets caught, and dies. You know, that's true. That did happen the one time. Personally, <laughs> for the record, I, I do blame my partner for that one. I told him to to go with a different group and not with me where I was. And they just showed up out of nowhere. You guys already suspected him, so it's like, alright, we're probably going to have to kill these guys. Yeah, it was pretty silly. Yeah, the whole thing was bad. It would have been fine if we actually did succeed in murdering you, but my teammate was kind of bad. And he just let you heal with the med kit, if you recall. Yeah, I thought that was kind of odd of him, too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Bree, do you want Venice? For a scissor? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice, because I want a beer that cheap. I understand. How many commercial hubs do you have? Um, I'm working on them. I see. I've been trying to get some of those out first, and then try and then catch up with them. Hmm. trying to figure out if I want to get scissorship of anything. I don't really see right. anything I want. One south of Okayama is taken care of. Nice. Oh, well, Pericles hates me because I sent a single envoy. <laughs> Stay mad. Worked food though. Grew some of these cities for a minute. That's more like it. Yeah, you focus on uh, growing your population, you can just work all the tiles. What? what? Really? Yep. Yeah. It just attacked me. That was just stupid. Ah, that's what you mean. <laughs> Anyway. 
Oh, you're gonna get to that tribal village before me, aren't you? You bastard. Me? Yeah, I'm just kidding though, I don't actually care. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about, so. <laughs> I'd probably end up walking over by accident. Yeah, directly adjacent to your scout is a tribal village. Uh, if you don't know what they do, when you get them, they're basically little goody huts that give you some small benefit. You know, like it might give you 30 gold or something. Or like an extra population in your capital or somewhere. On the other hand, Mike over here finding every single barbarian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got two more warriors over there. Yeah, I've had the benefit of like other people just dealing with them all game instead of me having to do it. I see uh, you've settled bad Tiberia. What happened to good Tiberia, Mr. Numb? Huh? Oh, that's in, one of your cities is named Bad Tiberia. Oh. Or Bad Tibera. <laughs> Have you been changing the name of your cities? No. Hmm. Didn't even know you could. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, viewers. For anyone who actually participates in chat, first person to chat next, uh, I'm going to name my city after you. <laughs> it's a deal. Not, not a single chat has happened today. <laughs> I know I'm sad and alone. Mr. Numb! <laughs> I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. <laughs> Three viewers, and they're all in the game, <laughs> I think. Like, Sean, I don't know why your laugh isn't picked up by uh, Bree's mic, but occasionally it as a <laughs> Minecraft chicken just sounds from Bree. Oh, <laughs> boy. I know it's you. I'm so... Minecraft <laughs> <laughs> chicken? God. Uh, you guys make me look good on my stream here. <laughs> I'm I'm very oh, invested sorry. in my my image. You all know that's a lie, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, uh. All right, hold on. I gotta rename some cities here. How do I rename you? There it is. There you go. Boom. My capital is actually just Mr. Num now. <laughs> and Delhi, you might not know this, but Delhi is actually Lucky Goulash. If I could spell. Yeah. It is just a fortunate Hungarian stew now. Mm hmm. It, uh, fortune is something that it will have. <laughs> I do have a third viewer here who is not in chat. And it might be Mike. I'm not sure. Hey, you, I think that's me. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's okay. You know what I found is that people, uh, actually watch the recordings on YouTube. Or not YouTube. Uh, Twitch like more than actually watch the live videos mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting but I do not mind it you know it is what it is people like live at different times of the day than I'm streaming I'm sure people have stuff to do on a Sunday afternoon why is Grease kind of scout me interesting okay I need to destroy Skip here right now why? uh I do religion. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're like right next to us, so, you know, it probably won't be too hard to end them, frankly. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just here making Matt. more settlers. Are you going for the Oracle? You know what? Didn't even consider it. Nah, I'll, I'm good. I see the whole world. Uh. <laughs> you know, uh, I am happy though because it does seem like I have like one genuine viewer who comes out for a lot of my streams uh, unicorn tracks and we chat about stuff and it's uh, it's pleasant you know hmm. at least I'm giving someone some interesting content that they can uh, ignore in the background Yeah, when we were starting up the game, I had something like five viewers. I think uh, most people just kind of wandered off, <laughs> somewhat uninterested in watching a loading screen for a game or something. I'm not really sure. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not really doing this because I expect to make something happen or anything. It's just fun. Let's see. And hell, you know, like, I'm gonna play games with you guys anyway. Might as well record it. And what not. I do think, uh... I do think I might, like, export it to YouTube or something, though. Just because... Um, seems like more people are interested in, like, watching it afterwards. Mm. And I feel like I'll feel more comfortable with that anyway. Just because, like, when I'm streaming, I feel like, ah, I should be interacting with, you know, people in the stream. But um, I'm not, like, at a size where that really happens. Mm -hmm. So if I just know, like, people are going to view it as a recording, I can just, like, talk to myself or you guys like it's recorded. <laughs> uh, so how's it going, Mr. Num? What you got going on? I see you're building an oracle. That's very nice. The oracle? Mm hmm. Okay, I only mentioned it. I'll yeah. Switch off. <laughs> switch off what? Mike was, was also building, building it. I asked who was building it. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. It's okay. That's, that's why I mentioned I it. If you can afford to, you should start settling more because Scythia is forward settling you. And we boxed it. Uh, I mean, but like, take it with a grain of salt for me. I'm the colonizer of this SIP group, so. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last game or the game before, you just like. I had like eight cities around me before I had about five. Oh, um. You just went for me? Yeah, that was my first game as Cleopatra. And you were, um. Gaul, I think. Ah, oh, I don't remember. It was, it was more than like. A very enough swordsman. Hmm. <laughs> I see Bree is uh, working on her sixth city now. I just 
excited. Like, I was worried about um, Lautaro cornering me in, and then I decided to change up my perspective. Of, like, I'm not stuck here with you, you're stuck here with me. Mm. It's working. <laughs> you know, Bree, you, you got room for one more city to the south of uh, Saïs. Right on that T, maybe. Or uh, that jungle tile. Be a nice defensive city. No, that's got. Uh, that jungle tile to the left of the T has obscene negative loyalty. Oh, well, alright. Let's take a look here. Mm. Oh, it doesn't anymore. Uh, yeah. It tells me negative 20. But you've got a five population city right there. But if you don't do that, there's no way to stop him from moving units through that little area. I know. I know. So, I recommend, especially if you're, like, concerned about this guy. He does have a, an encampment at your border. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see. You know what? Let's go feudalism. I got a lot of farms. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go settle up here. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we just keep trading with Bree. Trade to your slightly farther city, make more road. That's the plan. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Num, I would consider building some archers or bring in your carts back because Scythia's got some units moving towards your cities. They're not like really big problematic units yet. But yeah, they, they're her unique units. Yeah. But still, could be an issue. So I don't know if you have um, some archers in the wings ready to go, but I'll keep an eye on it. Yep, they just left. <laughs> ah, all right, that works out then. They saw my half-dead scout, and they were a fearin'. I still got an archer right there. All right. I mean, on the other hand, you do already have walls, so like that's pretty solid. I don't even have walls. Just to a certain extent, what are they gonna do? How how would they get to me? I'll be back in one minute.
You okay? Oh, by the way, Bree, did you ever look at the difference in these monitors? No, I haven't. <laughs> it is crazy. So, Mr. Nam, I plugged in my old monitor over here to just throw some other stuff on. I have at least two monitors set up over here. So I've got, like, all the Twitch streaming stuff on the one side. And uh, I'm, like, actually amazed at how much worse my old monitor is. Then, uh, yeah, it's like faded and uh, it's got like little ghost images and stuff. It's just like bad in so many ways. And I was uh, planning on giving this mm. to someone and I'm just like, Ooh. having looked at it now, I'm like, I can't believe I was ever considering that, you know? Yeah, I'm just going to sleep him for a minute, because he's one of those ones that annexes tiles into your territory, but I don't really feel like I need to do that right now, mm -hmm. you know? I'm going to hold on to him and uh, do that in a bit. Like, once some of my cities get to their max expansion or whatever... I'm not really competing with anyone for tiles right now, so. Except for Bree with tiles around uh, yeah. Yosemite, <laughs> but, you know. God. I guess I could scoop up those tiles around Venice before it gets to them, but... Do it. Give it to your feelings. I actually will probably do that. I'm going to transfer my merchant from Mr. Num to Lucky Goulash. Lucky Goulash is a lucky city, after all. cat over here walking in front of me begging for attention hey buddy I don't think it did I didn't <laughs> my little buddy mipping yeah Honestly, dude, if you're feeling confident with all your war cards, you could probably do a little war with Scythia. Scythia, yeah, no. But if you really wanted to. Not feeling super confident. All right. <laughs> That's totally I'm fair. Getting, I'm getting crossbow men and then I've worked with some demo. Mm. Probably declare work against Scythia. So, yeah, if he wants to join in, yeah, I feel a lot more confident. Yeah, I think I'm just about done pumping out uh, the hell was that? cities. That was I a great wonder. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. New source of iron. Oh, nice. There's iron right under my city. You'd love to see it. Yeah, Mike, let me know when you want me to send you iron. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not gaining horses. What? Is that not how it works in this game? Do you just have horses or you don't? I don't know. Hold I have second. horses. Oh, huh. Yeah, I would just like have to give it to you for 30 turns or whatever. So they work like luxuries or something. Hm. It's kind of weird. Alright. Well, uh, let me know if you need some uh, some horses, Mike. I guess. Hmm. 
quit. Who posted that? Me. I posted that. Is that where you're putting a city? I was actually putting it two tiles south. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Well, uh, Mike, I pulled the units out of that uh, barbarian camp. They're all following my archer now. Yeah, I've got a scout coming up but, uh, behind them. Yeah, hopefully you can do something with that. I certainly cannot. Hmm. Yeah, make a watermelon. Everyone gets a watermelon. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's such a good boy. They probably get him overused, just a live cat. What? That get cat. a live stream of your cat. <laughs> Yeah, I would probably do better if I just made all the pictures for my stream, all the, you know, profile picture, banner, etc., just of my cat. Almost definitely. Yeah. Wouldn't have to change anything else, just get people to click. What? Oh, shit. Whatever just happened was loud as fuck. <laughs> I barely heard it. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, Mike, you should be able to get that barbarian camp. They are absolutely bloodthirsty for this half health archer. <laughs> and done. Oh no. This swordsman's not going to let me through, is he? space to sell that. Where? One, two, three. Nah, you can't. Hey, dare bad? Oh. Yeah, what is he doing? Oh. That's weird. So there's one space he can settle to my west and your north. That must what be where he's going. Guy? Yeah, he is. Uh, he's going to lose the city pretty much immediately, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, I hope he does it. Who is it? What? Eh, it's a computer doing a dumb thing. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> it's a hilarious dumb thing that it's doing. So I think it's funny anyway.
Alright, hopefully those barbarians fuck off. I have been warned. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> A friendly village. Look at this, Mike. Even the scout is coming after me. <laughs> they don't give a crap well, they, about you. I destroyed the barbarian camp, so they've gone into suicide mm -hmm. mode. Mm -hmm. You just think that they would go for the closest unit. Mm. But no, they just, they, they can smell blood. The blood of my archer. They know. Another wonder. I have the Sahara. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, Geneva's got most of it. No, there's an easy solution to that problem. That's true. Actually, I have the Sahara. Is it seems like it's the old version, so it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not good. Only provides three science in the atomic era, which. Wow, that's that's terrible. Yeah. Although it's plus one production, woo, I guess. Uh yeah. Uh, heads up, I'm probably gonna be looking at taking uh the Who? Um the city state to the east of OK. Oh, okay. Uh taking or taking. Cool. Makes sense. It's in a good place. And never really rate the Raptors um, suzerain bonus. So. Yeah. I'm sure they're good if you want to dedicate the time to like rethink your entire strategy for them. But uh, Bree, I'm going to make us get extra gold from having trade routes to each other. Uh, just send your trade routes to Lucky Goulash, <laughs> and you will get extra gold. We'll both get extra gold. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be very wealthy this game, I think. We've not been doing so much of the murdering of uh, AIs just yet, but Oh we'll get there. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. And by we I I mean you guys. I've got crossbows next turn, and I'm going to be being what I'm going to be going for samurai, mm -hmm. which is a while off, but you know, with yeah. the power of them combined. I'm getting crossbows in seven turns. We don't have very much science output this game, huh? I've gone for culture. Yeah, mm. once again, I have not bothered with science. Wow. The thing with these types of games is I get more fun out of like playing to like hyper focusing on whatever the sieve is meant to do mm -hmm. rather than just doing the you know general optimal play well i'm just like surprised I've been going for, what i've been i've been building a lot of faith barracks and theater districts even though those aren't usually that good hmm. yeah i just i only have one campus i think and that one campus has put me ahead of you guys in science which is funny I got um, Rome to pay five gold per turn for one of my olive sources. Hmm. I mean, I could use olives. Okay, you should have said that a turn ago. <laughs> I mean, if you have extra amenities, send them to us. I don't. Then, wait. Uh, uh, so you selling? I mean, as far as Mike, correct me. Uh, as far as I understand, with amenities, you get the one that benefits your sieve, and then if you have any others, they're so useless. Yeah, you want to trade them away. Yeah. Yes. So I need to keep one. Yes. Yes. 
But you could trade your extras to us, is what I'm saying. I understand. I thought you were asking for my one source of olives that I had left. Because I only have two. No, I was asking for the previous source of olives that you had and no longer have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But it's too late now. That's fine. Oh my god, why am I building traders with gold? Oh my gosh, dude. I can build them in a single turn for my city. Yeah, I need to... I got 21 production. Really? Dang. Okay, look at this massive mountain range between me and this. The wonder makes up it. Makes up the mountain range. What are you talking about? Look at the, um, the west of uh, Nagano. Yeah? And then follow that mountain all the way down. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got over here. So there's my like range. a one tile gap, and then... Okay, maybe my mountain range isn't quite that intense. There's like a city-state in the gap, but it's still pretty good. It's a pretty good mountain, mountain range, yeah, range of mountain. Problem. What's the problem? I don't know. Uh, Greece isn't one of those servers that can run away with the game if we check. Yeah. Mm. It's true. Oh my gosh, you have so many war carts. There's very many war carts. Oh. Apparently Russia has a religion. Science returns pretty good. Uh, am I like losing my mind? Or is it you that doesn't know enough food? You don't know enough food. Alright, I was losing my mind. Okay, that makes sense now. Alright. Who's going on with you, Russia? Uh, hang out near the borders. Did 
definitely need to go over there. Uh... This one can go to I don't really need an aqueduct. If I can just, uh, that'll do library. I want the buildings to get great people. All right, seems like a good plan. General sense. Two envoys and candy? Sure, you know what? Make me Caesarin. Why not? Anybody care about Mahabu Mahabodi Temple at all? Before I build it? Not even remotely. Don't want religious buildings. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to get some of these older texts and sieves and stuff. I don't really care about mysticism, though. Uh, let's go straight for exploration. And another great merchant. I feel like I'm getting a lot of great merchants. Are you getting a bunch of great merchants? Commercial districts. Yeah, I do have a lot of commercial districts. Oh. One free luxury resource. Uh, you know, let's make it spices. Seems like a good one. I'll do that. I think we're done making settlers for a little while. Extra gold from trade routes seems nice. And we'll keep urban planning. Boom. There you go. You gotta like the builder cards because we're gonna keep building a ton of builders and step wells, so it all works out. Yeah, you got a lot of space in the farms and step wells there. Yeah. A lot of them. I mean, I've built a ton of them already, you know, but there can always be more. What is going on there? 
What you got happening? Bunch of missionaries coming into my territory. Mm. Is that get the, oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him so bad. Oh dear, yeah. <laughs> Did you not see uh, Neopolis and my units? Yeah. I got this shit completely surrounded. Yeah, I feel like you do want a granary there. It's having trouble with food. Hmm. Soon I shall have truffles. Reminds me, I haven't even looked at my list of resources. Hey, Mike, you should uh, share some of your citrus with us. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holding all my lemons. You know your man over here loves a good daiquiri. Like my uh, citrus who fruits. Has problems? Uh, I'll say me. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. content across the board. Hmm. Yeah, have an orange. So kind of you, sir. Fighting scurvy, one round at a time. Does anyone need money? I am flush. And so is Mr. Numb with 600 gold. <laughs> what are you doing? I would like some money. Thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. Sugar Daddy. I'm getting 55 a turn. I'm good. A minus 5 a turn. I'll work it out. Even things up. <laughs> I love how the settlers still roaming the landscape in between our cities. Golden Age. I also got a golden age. Ooh, commercial half adjacency bonuses give me science. That's going to be nice. Industrial zone's only giving me plus one production right now. It's uh, less than ideal. Give me a crosswoman, though. It's always nice. That warrior's dead. Poor man. He was just trying to see the world. <laughs> Catapult. You know, I keep like looking at the stream details like they're gonna change anytime soon. for life. Oh my god, Mr. Numb, you're going for it, huh? 
I'm about to end this, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's just really funny. No jokes. Yeah, this poor person doesn't even have walls. You don't even need a battering ram. None of the cities have walls. They haven't Whoa, built any okay. strong units. Yeah, I know, right? Like, all of a sudden you look at it. Not him. I don't think I'm going to wait anymore. No, no, don't. you more than got this in hand. Dude. Yeah, I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> hey, I got a crossbowman. Uh, from Preslav. Hell is Preslav. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Can I walk into territory? No. Okay. Uh. Do I need to declare a war or something? Well, I mean, there's like surprise war and grievances and such, but like. Yes. The answer you're looking for is yes. Uh, you will have to declare a surprise war because I doubt that you've said that they're a piece of garbage or anything. Yeah, so. you need to dis denounce. It doesn't matter. Considering we're on team, we there you go. A lot eventually. Mm -hmm. Know what's going to happen? The rest of them are going to like us less. <laughs> oh no! I'm sure, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. As long as I keep saying it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why am I suddenly at war with everyone? Uh, Mr. Dumb decided he didn't like his neighbor. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I don't I don't know why, but I'm actually clicking away all of these declaration uh, notifications. Oh, yeah. my gosh, there's 70 of them? Oh, there are 70 oh of them. no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've got 74 declarations of war and then 25 declaration of war. Yeah, I've met some new city states that have declared war on me. That's exciting. <laughs> oh my god, turn one, he almost already took the city. Nice. End this man, Mr. Numb. End him. Oh, yeah. Them, her, whoever. Them and them. <laughs> Mr. Numb over here is the coastal elite. All of his cities are coast. <laughs> Over here trying to just get uh, get my scout through here. Oh, apparently Preslov had a suzerain until I screwed it all up. Did you? Yeah, it was Mike. I'm sorry, Mike. I broke your suzerain tea. I didn't That's mean funny. to. Good news is I have a crossbowman. <clears throat> oh, there's that one. Uh, yeah, actually, give me that. Let's see. You know what? Just make a builder. Can't go wrong with more builders. It's true. Uh, are one of us Sue's for a non -Madal? Yeah, me. Cool. Yeah, so between Hong Kong and non -Madal, they'll probably stop any units from getting over, over the line there. Yeah, Brie, that's fine. <laughs> oh my god. How 
how is that city alive right now? Oh, it's yours. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Dumb, you probably want to research uh, the harbors if you don't have them already. Oh, I know. I was going to say, that was going to be my next thing. Mm -hmm. I actually click on uh, military tactics, so I'm just going to finish that off first. Yeah. Uh, military tactics is pretty strong. All right, military tactics. Oh, that's science, not culture. Endure. Uh, eh, you probably actually don't need pikemen right now. I would go for the harvest first. They're going to help give you better food uh, in your cities and stuff, but also give you a lot of gold per turn, especially since you got some great spots for them, frankly. But that's just like my opinion, man. Yeah. Oh, slabs in the middle of all of it. So essentially, with a team game like this, as soon as one person declares war on another player, everyone on both teams is at war with everyone else on both teams. So. It's a party. Yes, a party is, is exactly what it is. You know what? Is Zanzibar at war with me? Are we at war? We're not at war. Cool. No suzerain. No Zanzibar, I'd love to send you a trade route, but you're like about 500 miles away, so it's not going to happen. Uh, Capture hmm. cities for me. How are we doing on units and such? Really? Okay. Uh. Oh, what was that emergency about? It's probably something, something Mr. Numb captured a city. No, uh, it was asking people to capture specific cities from me. Yes. Oh. Uh, Alright. Could you send me 20 gold? Uh, yes. Made a mistake. 
I am uh, Chandra Gupta. Yes. Yeah, Sean. Like, um, the Grand Master's Chimp government uh, flies a product, right? The what? It allows you to. Um, sorry, Matt. Matt? Matt! I'm sorry, I was muted. What? The reason I usually go faith even though I'm not doing a religion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to use it to buy. Yeah. It's the Grand Master's Chapel at the Government Plaza. Grants the ability to buy land units with faith. It's quite good. It's quite good. That's a legion. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that. I didn't see you, you didn't see me. Oh. Well, well, well. That is a, an elephant of some sort. That there be a unique unit. Oh shit. Well, that is an enemy crossbowman. Oh wow, because you have uh, Neapolis, that new city they just founded is already like losing loyalty. That's hilarious. question they just went. yeah I think he went back into his own city So we've, we've done that so many times now I've forgotten how it actually goes <laughs> anymore uh, yeah no it's gone I think it starts with what are you doing and then what are you doing outside of that I don't remember could be anything really talking about Barbosa and Jack Sparrow mm -hmm. yes Jack Sparrow Yeah, give me some of those spices. Uh, 
Uh, a second. Who needs? Who needs some uh, truffles? And also, like, you know, Matt, share your share your chocolate, and Bree oh, share yeah, your furs. Uh, I could do with amenities. And Mike, you still have two citrus. You yep. could uh, potentially give one to someone. Let's see. Who needs it? My people are happy. But they could be even better if they were crazy happy. Uh, I think pretty much all of mine are ecstatic because my religion is just so good. Mm. <laughs> Someone's yeah, got yeah, cool definitely. religion. Yeah, who wants? Sean, do you need you need a minute? Uh I could yeah, I could use amenities. Mike just sent me one. We'll see what they look like next turn maybe. Um I think that'll put some of my cities to ecstatic. I feel like I had one more city I wanted to settle, and I don't exactly remember where. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just gone forever. Uh, what was I researching? Oh, Niter. That's right. Where is the Niter game? Where is the Niter gone? Nine results. Oh, cool. That's pretty good. Does anyone need Niter? I'm good. I'll put my somewhere else. I. Cannot, I'm nowhere near being able to build gunpowder units, so I'm, I'm fine. Actually, Mike, you have no niter in your kingdom. You have no niter anywhere near you. Yeah, but I've got, um... Summary. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mike's fine. Mike is a-okay. Are those better musketmen? No. No, they're really good. I see. So... What what are they? <laughs> Wait, are you spreading all crabism to me? That's funny. Yeah, yeah, it's all crabs. 